podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who you- Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, outstanding, incredible, uh, yeah, most indubitably. <laughs> what word is that? <laughs> Miss Jamaica, what's going on? Not nah, nothing, you know, Madel walk on. Man, hey, man, just cutting up a little bit, man. We back on the set, man. And my guy, he's here once again, man. This guy right here, man, he is uh, uh, the extra co host. I was just about to say you the new co host. The new co host, man. He, the, he back in town, man. Little Soldier Slim's in the building. What's going on? What's up, man? Huh? Man, so. Uh, this time, we, I, I wanted to just, uh, we're going to definitely get into your dad and, and just basically talk about the uh, the documentary. Yeah, yeah, because I was so curious about that because I know that one thing I noticed that 50, it ain't seem like it's always 50 Cent who's always doing it, which I applaud him for that because from him doing BMF and, you know, it seemed like he's reaching out to all these kids of OGs, whether they passed away or not or locked up. He's trying to put out their legacy. He's trying to put out their stories, yeah. and I love that, and I applaud him for that. Like, I really, I really, when they came to me with the idea, I was, I was excited about it, and mm-hmm. I just reached out to my auntie and was putting them on game. How did it? How did it? Just, just run me down the road of how he even, how they even. Yeah, who with reached you? out? Um, man, this lady. Um, how long ago? This was like January. Oh, so this is really quick. It happened really quick. Yeah, we filmed maybe. April. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when did it get finished? Um, man, we filmed. Well, they filmed for like three, four days, and that was just like, that's it in New Orleans. Yeah, they came to New Orleans. They was locked in. That's quick. Like they came and locked in. Like they organized it before they came mm-hmm. and clamped on it. Mm. You feel me? Yeah. Wow. Was Fifty out there too? No, it was um the guy from TMZ. What his name is? Which one? There's the whole. You talking um, the 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 head guy? And I used to follow him. I can't think of his name right now. I don't want to mess it up. But he he he's somebody important. <laughs> <laughs> you know? so I ain't gonna act like he's not. But nobody it's not the head guy. The um the one who's always narrating and talking. Is it him? Uh uh um he he used to narrate a lot of this stuff though. Okay, so he's not the same one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when you first um when you when you when you first was approached with it, they told you you're gonna have to be in New Orleans for four days or they did a week. I ain't had to be out there. I just did mine, you know what I'm saying? Probably three hours. Yeah. That's it? And then they yeah, then they went around to other people. Other people. They would they just sit you down and just kinda ask you questions about like kinda what we do, ask you about what you remember? Well, it wasn't like this. Um, we went to the grave and we walked around the grave, you know. Yeah. Walked around the grave. No, the, the grave is there. It, it's a walk in and walk. The one that I seen is that the grave where it's you walk in, in and it's walls and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but it's a, it's also a, the same grave yard. Like they have a yard. Okay. So we walked around the yard and then we walked up. You know. Well, what's in the, the just the base? Just the remembrances of him. What? The where they got the soldier rag hanging, the bullet hanging out of the deal. Was put it was in the wall. Yeah. It's a casket, but I thought it was. I thought it was. It ain't a great. It ain't a grave one as well. Like where uh-uh. I was on the ground. Okay, uh-uh. just in the wall. Uh, yeah, that's cr- that's that's different. Yeah. Wow. How long? And and do you have other relatives out there? Um, I know I know other people that's there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you've been going there all your life. Yeah. I mean, ever uh, since of you were eight. Yeah. 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 And um, with the documentary, I know a lot of times when people think about a documentary. Like for me, I think about a movie might be coming soon. Have any talks been going on about maybe a movie coming out about him, or um, like pe- a series or anything like pe- that? People be kind of asking about it. Um, that's something that I like to do on my own, honestly. Okay. You know, I like to put my own money into it and do it how I would want it, want it to be done, mm-hmm. versus bringing in investors unless the, unless it's fully just them putting their money in and let me do what I want to do. Mm-hmm. You no. Know? Did was it planned that like cause he died on November the twenty sixth right so was it planned to do it on this month cause this was the month he died no it's just falling like that yeah they wow. series just was set up to launch this month that's hard that, that's you know like when we met we we met on his birthday mm-hmm. so it's kind of stuff that kind of mm-hmm. like like 
pretty much is confirmation that you're doing what you should be doing, mm -hmm. right? Right. When you start seeing things fall the way it should fall, right? Right. That, and so I thought that was that was that was live, man. So you know, I put that one out this morning about y'all uh, about BG, um, basically just uh, the fact of how they knew each other and just kind of how you guys, you know, how you responded to BG. Yeah. Um, there's, there was a lot to go with your dad. They, did you you ever hear people say that he was like Tupac? Yeah. A lot of people, like Snoop Dogg said that. I, man, I spoke on this. I spoke on this. Really? In the interview. I think it was Beehive. Okay, what happened? If I'm not mistaken. No, was it Beehive or was it Big D? I don't know, but they was in my they was in my DM going crazy. What did you say? Yo, daddy could never be with two. They got mad wow. about it. Yeah, they got mad about it. What did you I, say? Um, I basically just said like you know, like, all right. I wasn't disrespecting Tupac, you know what I'm saying? Tupac always gonna be. Yeah, he he uh, he, he gonna he always really be that for a me. huge dude. But I was just saying like, you know, like after Tupac died, they had people coming up with other stories about him. You know, like, that he wasn't really like what he portrayed, you know? Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. So I said, that'll never be Soldier Slim. Oh, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It ain't, them, it ain't them stories, you know what I'm saying? It ain't yeah. nothing like that. Because yeah. whatever they portray um, Soldier Slim to be, that's what he is. That's what he is. Correct, but you got to understand, Pac right. was an was, uh, actor, too, and went right. to school and exactly. all that. So. so that's all I was saying. Like, you know, my dad was really from the streets. streets. He had zero opportunity. 14 year old on coke and dope you feel me like, yeah yeah that's the difference you know what i'm saying so i wasn't disrespecting him but they took it as that but it was my deal it up. was cutting up but but then they got the, the the similarities they have some similarities like basically you got to think about it your dad was shot as well before he went to prison yeah my, my dad the first time i got shot he was 15 or 16. do you do have you heard or family talk about why he got shot then yeah him see him and my mom was together around that time okay and he was like 15 16 or 17 in, in between them times you know what i'm saying my mom, i think my mom met him when he was like 16 so it had to be at the 16. um yeah I, like i don't know my pops my pops was different but did he get like what i'm saying did he get uh when he got shot then you was even you was you young you was a baby baby I wasn't born. You wasn't born? I wasn't born. But your mom, she was around. Yeah. Um, he actually went to stay with my mama, mama. Okay. You know, when he, yeah. When it had happened? Yeah. She had, I was like, my, like she be telling me stories about she had bought him all this Barbie equipment he needed because, you know, he's a cut hair. I used to yeah, yeah. Cut hair. So she bought him everything he needed, you know what I'm saying? So he could cut hair. Yeah. Yeah. That's hard. That's hard because at the end of the day, you got to understand that, you know, to, for him to come back hard like he did even after being shot. So after he got shot, like a week later, he was on crutches. And somebody else tried to shoot at him. Uh, they started shooting at him, and then he was running across the, the, the oh. clay barn. He had, he had a K. He ran across the clay barn, the K and the crutches, and he got hit by a car, I think they said. Yeah. Damn, mm. he gets hit by a car. That's crazy because these are stories where – Man, he could have been out of here a Man. few times. You like to not have been born. Yeah. You know what I'm he, saying? He ain't get run over. But he just, he, he got just hit. Got, you know what I'm saying? Got bumped, yeah. yeah. And that's crazy, but that's the way it be. Like, But God had a mission for you to be here, so sure. he had to get across that street. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> now, so. I think, I think at this time, my mama was pregnant with me. Really? Yeah, matter of fact. Your mom was pregnant. Yeah, you know, okay. you know, they be telling me all the stories, and they be trying to put the timelines together for me. But it, it be kind of, you know. Okay. Okay. So when you think about just, uh, um, and, and this is something that that uh, gonna come up in this documentary. I got a whole list of things here. When you think about different things, the different scenarios, you know, they have all these different stories out here about your dad. Your dad was a real one. Uh, we know that uh, your dad was a hustler because. When he and your daddy didn't bow down or nothing, it allegedly. And I heard your auntie say something. And I just researching the day. I'm like, dang, she said that too mm -hmm. about Master P. Yeah. So she came hard on that. Like, 
she kind of insinuated that he was the one that, uh, 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 you know, kind of caused the demise. And she ain't the only one. It was another guy, and I didn't even think about it, that was on here about a year ago before I even met you. And uh, he said, yeah, I was locked up, and uh, I know the real story on that. And, and basically was trying to also put it on P. And I know the reason they were doing that because they did have a mishap. But what do you think about that, and why do you – because I've heard you say on another, it wasn't from P. How do you, how did you come up with that scenario and why you and P just differ on that? Um, or did she change the way she feel about it too? No, it's not she feel how she feel. I ain't, and, I, and I'm with her. You know what I'm saying? Like I said on my other interview, it possibly could have been him. But from what I researched on my own, yeah. I don't think. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, not saying that it didn't come from around him. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. But he didn't. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it, but people talking and chatting, you know, the streets. It be like that, honestly, like man, you know how it be when you're a big dog. You, you know what I'm saying? You you got an army, you know. Yeah, yeah. And even if you say no, it don't always go like that, you know. Like you don't put the money out there already. Now you're not the only one with it, you know. Yeah. So it's not other people got their own. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you think it was a, it was a bold statement for him to make? From what he said, man, to my pops got a lot, had a lot going on. It, it, you know, he was a gangster, so it was a lot going on. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when, 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 whatever he like, even the whole situation with the dude Jarrell. Okay. They was trying to put Jarrell brother murder on my pops. If yeah, you know I mean? yeah, I seen that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, he had a lot going on. Yeah. Yeah, I seen that. I, I actually but wrote that, that down. But that happens a lot, though, don't it? Where people try to frame other people on other people's murder. That happens regularly. Yeah, yeah. They came up. They I heard they came up with this investigation the same at the same time he died, like the same week, within the same. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's crazy because um, the the guy was Lee Page. That's who he was that they said, Robert Lee Page, that your dad had something to do with him dying. Mm. You know what I mean? They say a lot, but a lot of it is just speculation. After, you know, after someone passed, they're not here to defend themselves. So, you know, a lot of times they're trying to clear the books, too, to say, let's get these under the rug so we can get these cleared out of our books. But don't you still have to prove it, though? You have to prove it. But you are locked up innocent. You are locked up innocent until you're proven guilty. Right. You feel me? Right. Yeah, so they could have held you in up five years until they proved it, or they didn't. You know what I'm saying? That's real. That's so real. So you just never know. And you fighting an uphill battle when you're dealing with these people and, these lo and you're dealing with Louisiana. And they they don't want they don't want to let you out and say, I'm and sorry, which they're not going to say. And he sold your slim. Right. And they're not going to say, I'm sorry. And they they gonna find a way to keep you in, even if they know that they're wrong, because they're gonna have to pay. Cause that, you can come out and start, you know, a lawsuit on them. That's just like I said with Mac. Mac knew he didn't do that, but you know you done been in jail, so you know the parole hearing. Like you basically gotta say you did it. You mm -hmm. gotta show remorse. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So man, like even if this man didn't do it, like he probably had to do that. You know, just to. See daylight again, like the little yeah. fight another day. Like uh -huh. that really be people's situations. That's exactly how it be. You know? And that's horrible. That's very horrible when you didn't do something, you have to sit there. Like I cringe at the fact of Mac sitting there for 21 years and the way his demeanor is and how he's, when we interviewed him, he was so just poised and, and, and so forgiving. I'd never, like I said before, I, I'll say it every time, interviewing Mac showed me what a real humble person is after going through 21 years of being locked up like that. He showed me too. Innocently. 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 That means everything else everybody crying about a lot of time, they can need to just get over it. But the part that killed me about it is the fact that he was innocent and he's like, the way how they threw him under the bus like that and he couldn't come out and be like, okay, I'm going to sue them because I was innocent and stuff like that. He couldn't do any of that. Because at the same time, like we was talking about the parole hearing, you basically saying, I did do it, I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I caused this pain to, you know, this person, family. Right. Yada, 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 or whatever, however they coerce you to. You got to do that it. just to look. You got to do it just to look like something to get out, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, And then you're going to turn around and say, 
Well, I ain't do it, you know what I'm saying? And file a lawsuit, but you just said you did to get out. Do you? Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have, I'd have been like, some people do say I'm innocent till the day they die. If you're going to lock me up for 100 years, lock me up, but I'm going to hold on to my innocence. I'm not going to say I'm sorry because. I'm, I'm, I'm just sitting here tripping because it's easy to say it's that. It's easy to say that, but you've been in that 21 world. years. You have <laughs> been that 21 years, and your first chance you get to possibly think about right. it, Mac, and get to see his son. Right. Grow up. His no. like, I know his son, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And like, he just not getting, you know what I'm saying, to reunite with his son, like, you know, like. In, in a free world. In a, like, he. Think about it. And it's yeah. just like, uh, like Man, I'm going to say whatever I got to say, but just to incriminate get the next person to get up out of here because I ain't no rat. Right. Larry right. Hoover Jr., we just was uh, with Larry Hoover Jr., and his dad had been locked up for 50 years right at, and uh, he 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 actually went through whatever he went through, but they pretty much released, and he has action. He's been seeing different you know, boys to get released, and they won't release him, and he's 70-something, and they feel like he's not a threat anymore. So he renounces the uh, uh, the, gang the, the uh, GDs and say he don't want no parts of it, you know. Um, but they still haven't released him. But at the end of the day, just to be locked up for fifty years, man. Like my daddy, uncle did fifty years in Angola. Ooh. That boy came home last year. Mm. That's who I need the interview right there. Yeah, I got you. Gotta you got to get that. I, I need hit. I need that 50 interview. Fifty years. Fifty years. That's how old I is he now? Like 70. That's who I want to talk to. 69 or yeah. something. Mm-hmm. That's who I yeah. want to talk to right there. 69, 69. Boy, that's he hard. still g up. I know. <laughs> Man, I said, Lord. So when I come down there, you got me on that. Did he have you. kids? I think so. Man. I'm not, Man, them dudes be having their way in that jail system. <laughs> them dudes be having all type of stuff going Do on. Do you believe that... Uh, Jarrell Jiggy Smith, the guy that they say killed your father, killed your father? I think he probably was there. Okay. Because that day she depicted. Uh, the, dude, that, the dude who, who they say did it, he got splat. I know that. Yeah. I'm thinking. No, I ain't talking about him. Another guy. He got splat. That day? In Houston. Oh, in Houston. Yeah. Wow. So, and I, and, and that's the whole game. Like, it's something I cringe at certain things but then I understand I feel you nobody could never feel the way you do or or know you when you said like my dad got caught slipping on that verse I put out today I was like dang man like that's hard but he it's real cause he a gangster you hear what I just said he a gangster like he ain't he ain't supposed to get caught slipping that's what he ignored he He, know you feel me yeah you you know what I'm saying you how do you think he would look at you saying that verse like that you probably commend I'm gonna say this like his partners be looking at me like, man, you act just like that boy. You know I mean? <laughs> so I wonder if he'll be looking at me like, man, that's what I created. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> what you said was so it was so pure, like from your heart, and it's your dad. So you can, so he can he can say that. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't say nothing to like make him look no type of way. Like I am you. You feel me? I can't. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, nah, like I. Ain't, even when I signed up for it, I knew what I was signing up for. You yeah, feel me? yeah, yeah. Carrying the torch, I knew what I was taking over. You feel me? Yeah. Real talk. You, you people could be naive and act stupid if they want to. But you knew. Like, yeah, you know what's going on. But yeah. I always say, you no, know, we all human beings, and there's nobody perfect. And when I say that, you know, when you say somebody get caught slipping, everybody slipped. At one time or all, no matter how deep, no matter how hard you think right you now. are. I left it in the car. Nigga be sitting on my it's car the there waiting on me. But that's what I'm saying is that everybody do is just that to get caught at that right moment or wrong moment. Exactly. Because Young Dolph, Young Dolph was slipping, but he wasn't even slipping. He mm-hmm. had a shooter with him and everything. You know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, crazy. So, but that's why I can't put my trust in Oop. Body, was like that. I gotta, you know what I'm saying? But God. So, I mean, like I said, I, I was thinking about that guy that, that you said one day in Houston. How do you know that was the guy? You see what I'm saying? I mean, just based off street resources okay. and the people that I talk to, and I know who did it. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. So basically, like nigga told me, yeah, I done that. You know what? what? Yeah, you know, you know how they Yeah, nigga gonna come back and yeah. he gonna say, yeah. 
Yeah, because the, and, and so the, even if he was lying, why he would said somebody? He done that. Yeah, why would somebody say that though? No, no, he talking about said that he done the dude no, that, yeah. that did that had killed his father. But how he know that's the right person? Man, you got to think about it when you. You know what I'm saying? Like the streets, New, New the streets, Orleans, no. New Orleans is 15 to 20 minutes to get across the whole city. Mm. From the east to the west, 15 minutes. You know? Wow. That's small. That's exactly. small. That's crazy. The population is 230,000 people in mm. 2021. Contrail Hickerson. New Orleans not big. Not big at all. I guess the name Contrail Hickerson also named that call saying he he called saying he killed your pops. Kentra Hickerson? Yeah. I ain't never heard about that. Yeah, that's just something that I, I'm researching. Yeah, you know, I had time to research because you was late getting here. But check it out. Yeah, my research <laughs> might not be all that hard, but I'm doing research. But check it out, right? Ain't no telling how many people they had. Just saying. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. They off. had. You oh, feel me? doing it. Ain't no telling day. how many people oh. they had. Working together. It was a job. Mm. It wasn't like, oh, yeah, we would be even with dude. It wasn't no Tupac situation. You feel me? It was a hit. It was a, it was hit. a hit. Dang. You see what I'm saying? That's crazy. So do you think that people still out here doing hits today? Yeah. Like that? Or like like yeah. Yeah. putting bags up? Man, these little yeah. dudes, these little dudes taking these 5000 and these 10000 mm -hmm. It crazy. ain't even a lot of money. Your, your life could be, you can't even do nothing with that. You know what I'm saying? You can't even your 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 lawyer deposit gonna be ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars. So know. you definitely not about to see no bond and none. Of, you know what I'm saying? But when people do that, they're not thinking about getting caught. They doing That's it thinking it. I'm gonna get off. Yeah, Ain't nobody know me. But you got to do it right. You got to tape the bottom of your shoes. You know what I'm saying? Your hands. <laughs> you feel me? Cover your whole body. I told him one day in in a uh, we did a little skit. I said, I watch enough criminal movies to know exactly how to do these things. Just like what you said, cover it all. Change yeah, your walk it, you know, because they look at everything. They how you them. walk, if you they a man or woman. how far your eyes are apart from each other when they compare you on your mugshot. Put a mask on. You got to put everything on. Everything. When you, when, okay. Y'all some, uh, use a TV watcher. <laughs> I'm a TV you, watcher. I don't know what, you in New Orleans, I don't trust you. You know what I'm saying? You, you, might, you probably done seen some stuff you shouldn't even been around. Yeah. <laughs> but I, get, I definitely, uh, so we gonna get back to, did your dad get shot more than once before that? Like, did he get shot twice, two different times? Or did he just get that shot that one time? Yeah, I shot two different times. No, I know when he passed away, but you saying before that he got just I think I think before that he had That's what I was hearing two, two different times. So that that like I said that's crazy and 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 your dad was different because you I look at you right and I see Kel was uh you know definitely loved uh soldier Slim your dad he loved him. That's what he talked about here. Uh, peaches, you know, end up, you know, linking and whatever with him on, on they move, on they project. But then you turn around and look at you, and you look at your uh, you, you you dealing with juvie, you dealing with uh, uh, juvie kids, BG kids. Now this is hot boy and cash money, who never work together. Don't they, it's kind of like one from but the Cali yo, one no, from no, that ain't that. Well, what is it? Juve and my daddy grew up together. They from the same hood. They from the Noia. That's Magnolia. You feel me? Correct. He was Magnolia. That's like Magnolia. Him. You feel me? Jesus from out of 13. You know what I'm saying? But they hung in the Magnolia. You feel me? But Jesus, man, like, I heard stories of, I heard my daddy taught Jesus how to rap. You talking about what Jesus? BG. He taught him how to rap? Man, yeah. They were, man, them dudes been knowing each other since they was kids. 13 and 14 years old. They show they they was together. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, like this this hood politics. Yeah, they don't got yeah. nothing to do with cash money and no limit. So, My daddy was a nigga who won't go everywhere. So he knew because he maneuvered through all. He went everywhere. He hung everywhere. He had niggas with him from downtown and everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He done got into it with niggas from uptown about his niggas from downtown. That's how he rocking. Cause you don't see nobody he, else. He don't care about all this cutthroat. You feel me? It ain't, it, it ain't uptown, downtown right now. It's cutthroat. So he don't care about none of the rules they it's going cutthroat. by. 
That's how he was right. That's what you. St- that's what he's saying. He didn't go that's by. How he was right. So it didn't matter about no label name. None of that. Who you think you with is who I'm with. It's what not, I'm doing. Is who, who, who with me? Yeah. And don't disrespect none of my people. So what do? What is some of the things that Juvie tell you about your dad? Just you know, they be having stories about man, that nigga crazy, man, that nigga wow. You know what I'm saying? They had they look, they look scores, they look stories, they look skits and yeah. shit. Yeah, and now one you remember that that just stuck out to you? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's a lot of them. I just don't be you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't be gonna repeat a lot of their stories. But it's some of them crazy, too yeah, crazy to repeat. Crazy, you know okay, you know they were young. Yeah, they was young. They was young. But like, just he he looking at the stuff me and his son doing. And he like, man, y'all crazy, man. You just like your daddy, man. Your daddy used to be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, shaking his head. Like he, he he told, like, boom. He, he told, um, who was that Juvie too? Was not too long ago. You feel me? He told a dude. Uh, he was, I was like, man, oh, man, dude talking about one pound of weed. I smoked that, you feel me? He like, yeah, man, you got my nerve messed up. My nerve come through here with a bag like this. <laughs> he like, you smoke out a bag like this. He don't smoke out no power. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just, you know, they be dozing like that just off of how be, I used to be moving. That's crazy. But, but it's real because it just show you the love that he have. He he watching you and he, 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 he it's something about being older and seeing the young boy do, the young bull do what they do. So it's something that make you feel like you proud to see them even mm-hmm. moving. It could be a whole different way. It could be a whole different way because a lot of these young niggas out just standing on the corner broke. You know what I'm saying? Or not even here no more. Or not even here no more. I crashed out about nothing. Yeah, mm-hmm. or, you know, locked up or either dead. So to see you out here, I know it give him a sense of, and to see his son just to grow up, to watch you grow up is a big deal. So you be looking like, dang, you know, I remember when this boy couldn't even hardly walk or he wasn't even in the hood like that. Yeah. And now he here, you know what I'm saying? That's hard, man. Yeah. So when you go back, cause you listen to your dad music and you watch, you, you've heard all of it. When you hear about like when he dissed the hot boys, you you hear you hear those songs. I know how he was rocking though. I'm rocking like that too. So he just he, he basically he dissed the whole. Why would he diss them? And he knew them like that. It's either you with us or you against us. Because he was and, with and no then, limit at the then, time. And then it it wasn't even personal unless you wanted to make it personal. It's just business. You know what I'm saying? It's just how I'm rocking. I get it. I get it. Because you see him diss that way, then you come back and you see him diss. P Neil, you know what I'm saying? He rocking like that. I ain't rocking with you. Ain't rocking with me no more. All right, fuck you too. And it's, it's straight up, and it's going down just like that. Today, like like this, so now, ain't, ain't no questioning, ain't no second guessing it, and I'm not changing my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the, the, the whole thing is that uh, the the projects that he had, like when he got out of prison, you see him come home. Uh, and then he basically still under no limit at that time. He dropped years later. He that's dropped years later. Yeah. That's right. He dropped years later. That's he, he was trying to he was trying to work his whole. Uh, but he didn't feel like he got to just do the money that he deserved from them. I don't know what their situation was or what their contract looked like, but yeah, he felt like something. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And 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 when you think about it, he voiced his opinion on it, and that's when you see. That P, I guess he disrespect P by saying he can do this or do that. You know, I heard you say something about that. I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't, he wasn't, he didn't, he didn't bite his tongue at all. He wasn't rocking like that. But a lot of people liked it. They, they loved him for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they hated him for that. But they, they threw rocks in high their hands. You know what I'm saying? Nobody trying to. You feel me? They could have hit him up. Like man, look, check this out. We got a we got a problem. We need to link up and go head up. You feel me? Yeah. And then, but the way he rocking and the way his his team rocking, like you don't want him on point. You feel me? You yeah. don't want him on game about that. What's crazy is years later, the person who helped you to do your first CD is uh, was it C Murder? Yeah. The, the years later, mm-hmm. he he reaches out to you. And then the crazy part, like man, we did it over the phone. Like we did, you know what I'm saying? He helped me do my CD over the phone. Like, he reach out to you. Yeah. And then the song that we that we had, we had already was you know what I'm saying the processor from House Arrest Days. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you basically. 
when you would go to the studio, how would you, how, you would just let him hear you or hear your song? Or? Man, I wouldn't even go into the studio. I was recording myself. And he would tell you this, do it like this or say it like that? Nah, uh-uh, it wasn't even that. It was just basically like, he he offered to like pay for a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? We split it. You know what I'm saying? We split the profits. You know what I'm saying? He, really? he did my skit. Yeah, the songs was all me. But y'all decided to do the project together. Yeah, it just you know he, he helped me like I, I was in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get it together. Did you even know? Like, had you ever spoken to Master P at that time? No. Never talked to him. Have you spoken to him to to this day? Master P? Yeah. Yeah, I talked to him a couple times. I talked to him probably like two, three times this year. Let me see. No, I talked to him. My auntie went off on him. What you ain't? Did, like, was that the know. one I seen? Yeah. Why she go off on him anyway? I got to get with her about my, that. My auntie. She don't play, dude. <laughs> she, she, she G'd up, but she a woman. You know how women are. They're emotional. They very emotional. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not. Certain stuff I'm not going to do. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm a man and I'm a businessman. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. But. I will see you and blow you down and let you know how I'm feeling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I ain't about to get on the camera and do all that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I know how the internet takes stuff and tracks right. stuff. Yeah, because so. I looked it up and it popped up. As soon as I looked up anything with yeah. that, I wasn't even looking for her. And it got book views. And I'm like, what the hell? And it got book Because you know, I interviewed her. I'd have asked her about that. I didn't know that when yeah. I interviewed her. Yeah. When I looked at her, I said, damn, she went off. Yeah. Before I even interviewed her, she done went off. Yeah. And we didn't even talk about that. It was a great interview. I don't yeah. regret nothing. We yeah, had I watched it. We had a great interview. So, but but you, when you seen him and met him, it was on some, he, did he tell you, you know, he knew your dad or anything? I ain't seen him and meet him. Man, my first time being this close to dude, man, I'm in L.A. in the airport, you hear me? Really? Yeah, man, I'm, yeah, first class with dude, you feel me? Okay. Yeah, boy. So, but I'm young, and I'm like, I don't want to run up on him, you know what yeah. I'm saying? He, I don't know how he be thinking, but he, he, he regular with it. He in the airport. Percy Miller. He, he, he Percy Miller. You feel me? So I called my partner, Willow. I said, man, this bitch pee on the plane with me. You know I, mean? <laughs> I said, bitch, yeah, bitch be outside with them sticks. But I'm just joking. Whoa. I'm just joking. You what feel the me? hell? I'm just joking. Boy, I can't have fans. So look, listen, I'm going to keep it G with you like, but I'm joking. I bust out laughing. I'm like, bitch, I'm just flat, bitch. You know what I'm saying? So, but. I, I possibly think dude could have heard me because I was going to say something to him when I got off the plane and dude was nowhere to be found. <laughs> you, got, you think wow. he heard Do you think he heard you? I think he heard me, but... I, you were I, just playing. I, yeah, I was just playing. I wouldn't... Because I, I don't... I, you know what I'm saying? He didn't hear that part. That's the young the boy in there, boy. The young play. boy. Yeah. That's the kid and you know, if you, you when you're a young, well, a young dude, man, you just be doing something to have a good time. You don't look at it like others, but then him, he... he He's you, on his P's and Q's. He have to move different. And I got mm -hmm. my partner twin with me. He think I'm dead serious because he know how I'm rocking. You feel me? But I'm yeah. Like, I'm just playing, bro. I'm just playing. Like, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> but joking. you were just kidding and that's yeah. the whole... So, so then after that, you you see him again? No, you never my seen my auntie him? go off on him, and he called me. Oh, he called you? Yeah, because I'm telling you, like his right hand man, um, Andy Boswell, yeah. Boz, that's my cousin daddy. Oh, okay. You feel me? So that's family. Yeah, he ain't family, but this is my cousin. Daddy. <laughs> no, no, that's you know what, what I'm saying. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. So, but this is my, like, my cousin stand laughing. You feel me? Every yeah. time I'm driving through laughing, I'm pulling up on him. Like, this is my cousin. You feel me? Like, we grew up together. You feel me? What What did P call you to say? He was just like, man, bro, like, man, you know, I seen the video. You ain't T. We'll do them. I said, man, look. So that, 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 say, that and, and that's crazy because it make you feel so, because you want to, people, man, I love P. I'm going to be I real with you. I'm a up, fan, I say, bro. I say, and look, bro, I'm not my auntie. You feel me? I'm going to let you get everything out you want to say. You know what I'm saying? But I don't... It, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know? Like, I ain't, I ain't on that. You feel me? Basically, I'm not on that. Whatever personal vendettas you and my daddy had, I can't tell you because he on the phone like, Man, it wasn't that, man. Man, your daddy got into about the petty stuff. It wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You I trying to your explain daddy. it. I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, bro, like, whatever you say, you don't have to do that. 
You know, that's basically why I'm at him. Because like, you don't right. want to hear no explanation. Not even that, but I, you don't got to explain yourself to me. You're a grown man. You feel me? You, know? you, too, you too gangster, man, little soldier. I ain't about to be you too gangster, man. man. Like, but, but, but when you get our age, you do. You, you He respects your dad and respects you. He trying to let you know. And ain't nothing that's there why like I that. I respected it. I ain't, you don't hear me saying nothing bad about Master Pete. You feel me? Yeah. I ain't trying to project that he was a bitch ass nigga bowing down to me or none of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I respect it, but you don't owe me that. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. I guess he probably feel like he, he did. He felt like he, he did. Because like all did. the streets be talking, and he well, don't want it to be coming the at most you like important, that. The most important person is you, as long That's as right. you know it, what's... It already what's, is what it is. Like, I can see if he was like, man, you know, I hate you had to grow up with your daddy, bro. I, I see you trying to do your thing, bro. I'm donate a hundred racks to your campaign. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't that so. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, I don't, but you, that ain't. I mean, you gotta realize though the way you move and you so independent and so you you the way your character is. Since I met you, you just a nigga that seemed like I'm gonna do it regardless. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? So if that nigga see you or talk to you, he gonna feel the same way I feel. Boy. If masterpiece see you. And he see how you moving. He gon' it's people out there so vulnerable and can't even take care yeah. of themselves. See, bro. he already know that because he got people like his nephews and stuff that's around him exactly. that live in Cali. They they be in, we be in cahoots with us. You know how it go. Yeah, you know what I'm saying I'm somebody like you they know, know you like they that know, nigga yeah. know how to move. And then yeah. you know he probably see, he hear him. Yeah, like, like that nigga be moving like that nigga act like his daddy. That nigga ain't uh -huh. having no problems. Yeah, and I'm rocking by myself. And, you know and you're, yeah, stand up guy. Yeah. So that everybody ain't like that. Some some people got to be carried, taken but here. As an OG, I would want to help me out. I would, I would want to see you not never go down the wrong road or end up in no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I think that's a, that's a conversation though. Uh, but, uh, the, the but communication rules the nation, but right? I ain't expecting nothing from nobody, and I ain't asking nobody from nothing because you not my people. I, you know I, what feel, I feel you on you that. I feel you like that. Like, like you don't. I'm the type of dude the same way. Like, I'm not gonna come at you. I want to work hard enough to where you'll see me too. I want you say, to see me and yeah, be like, say that nigga I want to help you. Let I, me throw I, something I his way. You. I want to help you. Yeah, you feel me? No, I get that. I ain't gonna come on you. I ain't gonna ask you for nothing. Please help me, dog. Make sure. What you think about that, man? But would you take the help? Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I want him to be like. I want to help you, but not right. him. Have to ask him. Yeah, not not a handout. Right? Yeah, he don't, don't want to. No he don't want to ask right. him. Like it's certain niggas that like like Kodak Black. He 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 done got burnt like that before because he tried to help Kodak and, and Kodak was like, man, I don't want to give you none of my money if or uh, some you know you helping me, you helping me. Uh, and I tripped off that situation because of the knowledge he has and the way that he been through the system. If I'm gonna spend time helping you with something then I'm going to want you to compensate me too, especially when we making money together. Mm -hmm. it, it'd be the same thing with me and you. Not really, because I don't trip. I understand the business. That's business. All right, boom. Before we got on camera, you just told me, like, look, I, I, I told the dude I'm your manager. Yeah. Man, I'm just a type of person. And you say, I'm going to give you a cell phone. I'm going <laughs> to give you a cell phone on top of that. With a contract, without a contract, you gonna get your managers cut. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You played a part in me collecting this back end, so you gonna get your part, and that's just how I'm rocking. I Cause you're a stand up dude. Stand -up that's why. Dude. Yeah, that's man, different. I'm, Everybody man, not like we it. We all got families. We all trying to just make it. So what did you think when you seen what Kodak had said about it? Fuck that Kodak opinion. Yeah, Kodak, you ain't trying to hear it. Yeah, like you gonna help me, help me. Don't be trying to act like you helping me. But and everybody then you want go some money things, from real talk. But everybody but go by things differently. Every, you know, just see, the way how Kodak he, said he didn't ask dude for help. He didn't ask him for nothing. You feel me? He pushed himself up on this situation. So I felt him like, man, all right. If you push yourself up on my situation, like, bro, I'm gonna help you. You know what I'm saying? Correct. Don't see I got all this money like yeah I need to give me some of that money because I'm I'm here helping you know what yeah. I'm saying no because you said you wanted to help me yeah, so yeah. I, I'm not like I, I get it that's why yeah. I told you what I told you but when you said that at like, the I don't same care. time it's a difference from like I don't think I don't think they went out and made no money and did they no did. shows yeah you know they didn't do nothing yet they no. were gonna do it they was just barking about it he was trying to get I think Kodak said he was trying to, I don't know what the situation was Kodak said he was trying to get a cut off of what he did for a back to school drive or something. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, he like, I'm already spending money. Now you want me to pay you for it. You know what I'm saying? Man, then but he was like, man, for some cheap backpacks. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like to see niggas get, you know, get it off because that's just real nigga stuff, man. man. Niggas do this, man. That's what we go do, right? You can't tuck, you can't tuck your tail. You know what I'm saying? You can't like. Uh. 
That's the way we act. You know that, though. Mm -hmm. So when something happens, niggas be like, oh, I can't believe Kodak said this or Master P reacted this way. Man, we black kings, I man. I stay people's business, too. That be people's problem. They be too invested in other people's business. Business, yeah. yeah. Now, that's real. real that's some real talk. Because what Master P and Kodak got going on got to do with Dude, you? Dude, did nothing. Your life been passed, dude. You to get cut off. You nothing. worry about these people. But, but they celebrities. Y'all niggas is in the limelight. If you do something crazy, it's going all over, whether you like it or not. Right. Yo, because of your daddy, because of what you've been doing, you've been up working, you rapping, you took on this, you took the baton, nigga. If you go out of here right now and you uh, go out here and air out something, and it's all over the news, What's boss up? talk gonna talk about it. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm, <laughs> I'm being real, but we family. But you still gonna talk about that, it? That just, that, that's my auntie and my uncle saying, mm -hmm. man, never done tripped out out here. You feel me? <laughs> No, because at the end of the day, you got to, but you got to say, hey, man, you know, I understand. Because if you don't paint the narrative, the negative narrative is going to fly. Somebody else going to It's going to fly. Right. So if you don't have somebody saying, nah, this it right here, then it's going to be like this negative narrative going to be taken as the truth, too. So I be looking at those different ways, too. Fact. We got to have everything. Mm -hmm. I keep saying that here lately, right? So, But it's I, so crazy because he said he took on the, the baton, but he was really born into it. Yeah, some people. Yeah, but he didn't have no to be choice. a rapper. He didn't have to be a rapper. Even but if, I, even even if, if I he didn't weren't rap a rapper, it, he had, still I had, had to a run name. The business. Right. You choose I had to run the business. I, it, it, it was dead. It was dead until I decided to do it. Yeah, but you see still, the difference. Yeah, but you you could have just said, you know what, that that role wasn't for me. Some kids might have might have would have said it. It don't make sense. That but, don't even add up. But even if you didn't do that, if just you decided, because of who some you kids was. might not pick it up. Some people can't do it. They ain't got it in them. That's who I was already. You that's know the I mean? that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's the part where it makes sense. But there is kids out here that would never or could never. Because honestly, look, in the beginning, I didn't want to pick the business up. That's why it took so long to start. You know what I'm saying? Like... Bro, people had pissed me off so much with that. You were trying to be like your dad, and you know what I'm saying? I really was like pushing that shit away from me. Like, man, I'm do my own thing, come up with my own record label way over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really was on that. You feel me? You just get a lot of backplay. I, I mean, I feel for you because they do it to us too. But you, you know, like when you you look at like your daddy, dark skinned, you light skinned, nigga be oh that that is that is daddy. Da, da. It's like I'm looking at I'm like, what the hell is this? Bro, niggas just gonna talk on the internet. That's why I hope, man. Niggas just say what they want. You say, can't yeah, care about what me. nobody else say or do, cause and it's always just like one person started and then everybody jump on the bandwagon, right? Just to say whatever. It's just like in a court of law, you know, you have a prosecutor and you have a defendant, and all their job is to do is put some sort of doubt in your mind as a jury as member. A juror. You understand? So that person who is a hater is going to put that question in all these people on social media mind to say, it might not be. And they'll be like, really? You know what? And everybody start looking and be like, oh, it might not be. And they jump on board. That's why I be telling people I would have been who I was with or without it. I don't got to be. I'm, I, I would have been. A, I'm a boss. You feel me? Right. Who, who remind who reminds you of your uh, the way your dad rap in New Orleans? Who? Like yeah, like right, like who have you heard over the years that mostly remind you like that nigga sound like that? I don't, I don't think nobody. Nobody. Damn person down there. Uh, I I used to like Youngin. People used to be like he sound like my daddy, but I don't, I, I just liked him. You feel me? I didn't think he was trying to sound like my daddy. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think nobody honestly. They be trying to say rifle now, but I don't think not to me. You know? Yeah. You don't you don't hear it like that. Yeah, nah, dude, dude had his own lingo with it and everything. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I got a cousin. He rapped just like my dad. Just like him. I rapped just like he my still, dad. He still he still rap now. That's he got my, any music out? Yeah. Well, he don't got no music out. But he rapped like your daddy. Yeah. Why you don't put him on so? I did some songs with him. He he just turned uh, into. I, it. I love him. He throw it off though, man. My family members, that nigga <laughs> crazy. Like they. It make it hard to deal with them. Honestly, mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep it with Like, I really be want to do, do more with them. You know what I'm saying to help them more. But like, I write like boom. Like the problem we had. Like I tried this probably like a year ago. You know what I'm saying? Exactly a year ago. Matter of fact, I had them at, at my studio. You know what I'm saying? 
But I be trying to tell people, like, man, everything I got, I work for. Mm -hmm. And this shit costs. You feel mm -hmm. me? It costs to keep this going. You feel me? So, like, we got to make money. It got to make some type of money. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like we're around. We got to do something to make some money. We can't just do this all the time. Mm -hmm. This ain't keeping it going. But a lot of people feel like what I have, they should have. You know what I'm saying? Why they don't got it? You know that's, what I'm saying? That's what uh, niggas do. But yeah, you're I don't, right. You, and honestly, like, the cousin I'm like, well, really, all oh, my cousins, them niggas older than me. I'm yeah. the youngest, you feel yeah. me? Um, they don't care. I love them, but it's... You got that bite, nigga. Exactly. I'm going to get out here and go get what I want. You feel me? So they, they know, you know, they know that, I, too. I, I never look at them like they owe me something. If I ain't have it, and they had it, you know? It's just... Cutthroat. Man, ex I, I ain't going to lie. Like, man, one of my favorite cousins got it. Like, my favorite... Like, man, that nigga been close since... You know what I'm saying? Man, we got into it. Why? Because he talking about, man, you be out here doing this and that for all these people, and when it come to us, you be bird feeding us. You, you know what I'm saying? But I, I said, but you owe me $2,500 right now. What'd he say? What'd he say? Man, but you supposed to just let me have that because I'm your cousin. You supposed to make sure I'm straight. And he really wanted to get, yeah, talk about what he was going to do me and everything about it. You shouldn't have like, gave him the $2,500. Huh? You shouldn't have never gave him the twenty five. But I ain't, like I told him, I was like, man, I ain't even tripping off that. That's you heard what you I feel said, me? right? Yeah. You're not helping them. You're hurting them when you're giving them money like that. For sure. You ain't helping nobody doing that. I, I was told that by that person in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. That one, that dude, he said, when you see people ask for money, don't give them money because then one time you come over and you don't give them money, they're going to stab you or kill you because you didn't help them. Family members do that same thing, too. That is my cousin. But at the same time, it's like, if you don't test the water, sometimes you don't know the person's true character of how they are. So sometimes that person could be around you, hang around you, and you think that they're cool, but you won't know that they really have that in them until you do give them something. You're like, oh, that's how you really are. That's how you really think about me. Half of my family now I don't know. even know where I live. They just know I stay in Houston. See, and when I stay in Atlanta, they just know I stay in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. They know where the house is in New Orleans. You feel me? Mm. But do they give you? You get a lot of love in uh, Florida, Jacksonville. Why do you get a lot? I of never love been in to Jacksonville, and I get a lot of love in Jacksonville. How? How? Because you're dead. I've been. I've been all through the other parts of Florida doing shows, and you know what I'm saying. So why you never been to Jacksonville? Because man, honestly, and why? How do you know time, they give you so much love? Every they time I was supposed to go out there. Something happened to where I didn't make it. Like, one time I was on the road and it was storming so bad. Like, we had hydroplanes and everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, every time I was trying to get out there. It wasn't meant for you to be out there yet. It wasn't meant for me to go out there yet. But did they, how do you know they show you, how you know they love you so much? Man, them dudes, like, by me being in South Florida, I used to meet a lot of people from Jacksonville. And they used to be like, man, on, on tap. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they got a gang called. They cutthroat. They cutthroat committee out there. Wow. You feel me? They got cutthroat out there. That's why Kodak be like cutthroat Bill. Because he was in jail in Jacksonville. Them dudes, like, them dudes from jail really be reaching out to me, hit me up. Man, we just letting you know how we rocking. They really got on tap, tatted on them. Yeah, that's why, like, I don't know if you be paying attention. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, like, I thought it was crazy, too, when I first found out. You know, not like 2018, when I first started going to Florida, 2017. Man, but them dudes really be, like, hitting me up and really just letting me know, like, how much my daddy mean to them, how much it mean to them, that I'm keeping the legacy going, this cutthroat. Like, I, I be posting, like, sometimes I be, like, on tap, or I be like, tap in, you feel me? Like, I ain't never think, you know, we say tap in, yeah, but, yeah, but, but they, I ain't never think to use it like my daddy's they, last name, and yeah. be like, tap in, like, they, they really be, you know what I'm saying? Rock like, with you. They influence me, I was like, yeah, y'all rocking harder, y'all rocking out harder, and I'm rocking yeah, so out, you feel hard, me? Hard, bro. Real talk. It motivates you. And I respect them dudes for that, but like, like a lot of them that reach out to me for jail, they be like, man, you gotta watch some of them, you know, cause, I would chill, soldier kill soldier. You know what I'm saying? Tap kill tap. You feel me? Damn. Yeah, it's really cutthroat for real. You know, so they yeah. man, that's crazy. Put you on game, that. let they you really know. With that out there. But they love your dad, and that's something special. All through Florida though, and just all through Florida, like everywhere I went in Florida. He, how did they? Was, was, what did he do down hard there? In Louisiana. I don't know what he what he <laughs> went down there. And did. Real talk. But he, that's where it's at. Like man, all through Florida. They love you. They love your dad. They love you. Everything about that. Tap, that's it. That's when I started getting real money. 
going out there. They getting money out there and everything. And they, it's love. Like, it ain't, you know what I'm saying? Bro, that's love, like, bro. Yeah. Bro, uh, man, I, I talked to that boy GDP, man. Yeah, yeah that's, that's my, my boy, dog. man. Hey, man, the boy, hey, he the man. You know, him and Sean Cotton, man, they always doing interviews, too. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I, what do they call him down there? They got a name for him down there, they call him. I, I'd asked him earlier, I'm like, man, what, what they calling you down there? Oh, the, the, the spokesman. The spokesman. So uh, yeah, yeah. So the spokesman on the wall. Yeah, you and him ain't did nothing together. Nah, we ain't never did no interview. Um, that man G D was supposed to drop like a down south hustlers last year, bro. Y'all didn't do it, man. Cause it'd be like when when I was trying to do it with him, he was in Georgia and I was in New Orleans. Like I had my house in Atlanta, but at the time I had something going on in New Orleans. When I was stuck in New Orleans. When I got back, he was back in New Orleans. Just like, didn't line up. You know right. what I'm saying? It ain't. It, but we really need to do that. Man, because I, I wouldn't, be, I feel like I wouldn't be able to do it with nobody else. You know what I'm saying? He really, he 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 that person for us in New Orleans. He could be the person to help me promote it. You know, because I'm gonna just executive produce and make sure it get put together the yeah. right way. Yeah, you know yeah, he, uh, he been on Boss Talk, and I just I, I talked to him. I, I told him about you. Yeah, and I always because I tap in like, man, I gotta know. I know he gonna know the streets too. So you know, he, he reposts a lot of my interviews, mm -hmm. like Big D interviews, Boss Talk interviews. He, he, like yeah, he, he reposts them on you. Instagram. You feel me? He cut for you, and it like he really. He pushed for me for as New Orleans because I I been stopped pushing for New Orleans. Wow! Like I don't, Why? yeah, I don't promote out there because it ain't never been what it should have been. You feel me? Um, uh, you know, you know, Law Crack Tracks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about it? He used to he used to do the New Orleans Hip Hop Awards. You know what I'm saying? And I used to get awards and everything. Like I was turned up in the city. You feel me? Young, mm -hmm. but then he stopped doing it. You know, so like. People ain't really, you know, like when I was winning the awards and stuff, then they was jumping on the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's so hard, though. That's hard that you even get recognized. You know what I'm saying? Some people wish they could do what you did. Yeah, it, it, it's it's love, but it's just like, it's street love. It ain't yeah. no love towards what I'm doing musically. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I, I just always went other places, like Florida. I took Florida up. Yeah, I need to go back out there right now. For real. Right what? now, I've been trying to focus and do my thing in Texas, but I do <laughs> Florida and Texas. You got to do both. I'd probably be straight just Florida and Texas. Florida, Texas, and California for sure. But Say you Florida ours, bro. You in the South, man. Uh, yeah. You know we ain't. We ain't never letting you go. We love you, man. Real talk. But I promise. And, and that's the one thing we're going to do on these platforms. When you come to Dallas, we showing you love. Yeah. I hope we did you justice, man. Yeah, that's love. I, I hope we did, and then we're going to continue love. to do it. I, I love this trip. I ain't going to lie. I tried. I was trying to do something else for you today. Like, I'm going to get him over here. I'm going to do another one from another cat, but he ain't going to be here, but we can still do it. Yeah. Stuff like that I'll be thinking, because I just know. I'm going to come back whenever you tell me. I already know, if man. We like, rocking. Man, the I'm coming tomorrow. to New Orleans, nigga. Man, you fit me down there. We got to do Juvie Tuesday. We got to right. figure out all kind of stuff together down there. Matter of fact, I, yeah, it's a couple of the interview know, with the guy that did the 50 year. Cause yeah, that and T-Roll was T -Roll talking, just talking about that last about night. Juvie Tuesday. Because he did something He did a song with your... Oh, he what song did he do? He didn't do. He didn't do. Uh, I wouldn't even tell you to go nowhere else. And I've never I, been like, to Juvie Tuesday. No other club. No, you know what I'm saying? Because it wasn't like from the day he started it. It wasn't really. It wasn't a club. You know, it was just like a little a little groove night. Yeah, you know, like how currency used to do the yeah, jet lounge. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it is a club. It is that Treme Hideaway? What's, what is that? They have a bar and they have okay. a DJ. So, okay. it, but they, the uh, millions of people that's gonna come out is gonna be a club. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Real talk. It was every like Tuesday. That. That's every how Tuesday. it is. Yeah, yeah. And they come out and it's free. That's hard. That's, why that's hard. But different. he's there. That, that's the part he's that tripped me out. He's there. Birdman the was part. there. Didn't you say Birdman yeah. was there? He yeah, said, Birdman yeah, he there. said that. T Rail. T Rail said Birdman was there. It was the Tuesday after he left. But it just tripped me out that he be there every single Tuesday. That's, that's hard, that man. That's yeah. hard, bro. That's hard. That's love, too. That nigga love. That nigga love uh, New Orleans. That's mm -hmm. love right I think y'all should come to my grandma's second line. Man, stop playing. You know I'm coming. You ain't got to even worry about that. It's over. Yeah. You just got to tell us when we come down there. <laughs> it's, it's, she ready to go now. It's the 27th. Where's that going to be down there? Yeah. Yeah. Like that whole weekend that they coming out weekend. Because, you know, like that's the beginning of the um, parade. the second line season. Okay, what is second line? It's a parade. Okay, cause I know y'all always having all sorts of parades. Mm -hmm. it's, but it's, everybody it's go for Mardi Gras on fall of that carnival. It's a parade without the bees. They have DJs. People be having trailers with and the DJs. This on. On, on Thanksgiving. It's on the twenty seventh. Thanksgiving the twenty fourth. Okay, 
So it's the day after show? your dad it, got it, killed. It's by you classic weekend. Wow. Oh, okay. You know, like that's why I was so hard on my grandma because like that was her. Like they come out on that weekend after mm-hmm. Thanksgiving, you know, they yeah. coming out party be Friday. They had a dance on Saturday, they second line be Sunday, you know what I'm saying? They got killed that Thursday, like that was the you know, so it really be hard for her, like to you know do what it because remember all but, of that. And then he always used to be there because this her thing, you know. Mm-hmm. Like he always uh Man, that's hard, man. So getting back and, and definitely we're about to shut it down, but just getting back to the um documentary, what do you what what would you like to see come from the documentary? Just Hold on, let, let me let me tell you who the host is, because he's a good host. Okay. The one you that's hosting. TMZ, yeah. the TMZ guy. You gotta look him up, you know, make sure he give him some love. Yeah, I the got right it. name. Van Lathan. Van Lathan. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, Van Lathan. He 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 did a wonderful interview on me. What do you expect from from it? Just to show recognition to your father and his yeah, legacy? man. You know, he he really getting his flowers. That's that's really what I do it for, just to make sure. Oh, he that keep getting guy. His flowers. I know exactly. The, the, yeah, that's that guy. Yeah, I knew who it was. I yeah. knew who it was while you were saying it. Yeah, yeah, because I remember he got into it with Kanye. You never forget that. I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah, he did in the studio. Look it up one day when you yeah. can Google it. They had when Kanye was talking about blacks, uh, something blacks. Uh, they some about slavery, mm. and he they yeah, he didn't like it at all. When he said it was their fault, yeah, yeah, they, 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 chose, to they chose to be slave. They chose to be slave. Man, honestly, Kanye not crazy. I don't I don't think he crazy. No. You know what I'm no, saying? He's not. He, he got a point that he trying to prove. But some of the stuff he be saying it make it really make you want bad the piss out of him. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. how you say it. I feel he like can, he Charleston can White say, and Kanye West should get together and do something similar. <laughs> but the thing is that he says. You know how some people, like, he can be more outspoken and say something and you be looking at him like crazy, but I can say the same exact thing that he said, but I put it in a different way, and it's more accepting. It, yeah. It's the same it's thing, the same though. Thing, yeah. yeah. Like, that's just like what, what he said about George Floyd. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Man, I said, oh, dude, throw it up. That's when everybody even, was mad. Even if, it, even if it is possible, there could be some truth to that. You know, I can't say I was now. I don't know what. Right. You know what I'm saying? But... It's the way he it's the way he went about saying it. It's mm-hmm. the way he put it. You know what I'm saying? But I, honestly, I don't respect how he played it. Like, like even with um, drink champs. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I say something on here and it start, you watch it before you upload it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it start getting a bad review. Like, don't take it down. You feel me? Cause you and, and be like, oh, I ain't know you said all that. Ain't you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that's fun. Like I, I think come it's back because respect your show. I think it's because they not independent. They got other people putting their buttons. Yeah, they, yeah. Like this year, it. it ain't gonna happen in a million years because I can do what I want to do. They all tied together. They got people with them. I don't have nobody. It's just me and you, big dog. Uh, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? They need to send us some endorsements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we good, though. We're going we gonna to win anyway. Facts. When we get up, they're going to wanna they gonna pray to be with us. They're going to empty their pockets. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. I love you, too, Thank man. you for coming on the show, man. Uh, say, what's up? What you going to say to it? This, this, is, uh, this is family. I know. Welcome it's, to the family. Ain't, we got to get a uh, 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 Project Barbie down here, man. That we, uh, where we coming to New Orleans? Yeah, we coming to New Orleans. So that but we way. still got to get our chance. Out here, that's you know what, what I said. So she can make up rounds like so she can come through, and I'm a, you know how I'm gonna do it. You can already tell her now. You gonna tell her right? Yeah. You know, like you got to get with E. He gonna make it happen. I'm gonna have to get her to fly a little destiny out here. Yeah, that's the that that's that's your uh, that's my little cousin. Yeah, your little cousin. That's hard. That's yeah. hard. Hey man, thank you for coming on the show, man. How can people get a hold of you, man? I'm always say that. Soldiers dot club, man. Go on soldiers dot club, man. Make sure you tap into my website. I'm gonna keep it updated. I'm about to re update it again. Um, little soldier slim on YouTube, man. Cutthroat, man. Yo, so yo yo to the bone, man. We, <laughs> but I'm yo yo your dad had brought two people on that label when I researched it. When he had it, do you have anybody on the on the label? Unofficially, yeah, yeah, I got a couple of. You know what I'm saying? You just working to try to get them, yeah. get them, get it going. Yeah, man, you know it's just unofficial. I, I, honestly, these really my partners. Yeah, man, yeah, you know what I'm saying. We doing it together. We all That's got the same it. dream. That's it. I'm gonna get my piece too. Yeah, I got you. I'm it's on the way. My, yeah, I'm gonna get mine. I'm gonna put it with that boss talk. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come like that. I'm gonna mm-hmm. stepping like that. That's to how the I'm bone. Step, That's how I'm stepping. <laughs> Watch. For sure. Nigga, it's going down. Ain't got to be that bitch that put me something. I mean, I'm representing. For like, sure. I'm with you. All right. Yeah, on Boss Talk, nigga. And whatever go with it. Shout out to Boss Talk 101 <laughs> who holding it down. It. Yeah. <laughs> Say, man, check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talk. And we out.